evening, everybody, and welcome back to Indiana State Sycamores returning to Holman Center on Saturday, looking to run their win streak to eight wins in a row, standing in the way of the South Southern Indiana Screaming Eagles. No Isaiah Swope for the Sycamores against his former team. He sat out with a knee injury, but you couldn't tell he wasn't out there because ISU rolled from the start. Sycamores get the scoring started as Robbie Avila dishes it to Jason Kent, who puts in the reverse lane. Later in the first half, Avila fires in the corner to Julian Larry, who knocks down the three. Larry had 15 points in the game for Indiana State. This time, Robbie does it himself, driving in, hitting the shot, plus the foul for an and one. Avila had a game-high 18 points on Saturday. Check out this pass by Julian Larry. No look to a cutting Jason Kent, who puts it in for two. Kent was also in double figures with 10 points for ISU. More slick passing from Larry a little later, who fires inside to Avila, who finishes with the left hand. Sycamores led it 52-25 at the half. Didn't look back in the second half as Avila finds Jason Kent, who slams it home. And how about an exclamation point three from Ryan Conwell, who's going to knock it down at the top of the key. Indiana State, they win their eighth straight game, 98-54, dominant fashion. ISU never trailed in today's game. They led by as many as 48. They win it by 44. They improved to 9-1 and one on the season. Here's Coach Schertz and crew after the win. We definitely just take it game by game, you know, and we don't take anything for granted, like I said before. So it's just good to get another one under our belt and prepare for the next one. Uh, no, it feels amazing, you know. I, like, I, like I said from the beginning, you know, the crowd is, you know, what gets us, you know, up and, you know, going. Uh, without their support, you know, it's not really much of a team here. And so, you know, we love and appreciate everybody that comes out to these games. I think every team, offense, defense, culture, I've said this before. I think we're we're we've got our best aspect right now is our culture, the way these guys care, the way they the way they do things, and as long as that's the case, uh, you got a chance to have a special season. 